Now, I hear so many people say stuff like, oh man, Creature from the Krusty Krab was my childhood, and I played Super Sponge all the time growing up, and Nicktoons Unite wasn't that horrible, but they're all wrong, all right? Sure, I played some of those games when I was younger too, but there is one specifically that I remember very fondly. I'd have my Leapster under my pillow. It was a silver and blue one with an attached pen and the buttons were all big and mushy. Anyway, after a little bit of research, I found basically all the games I can at least remember playing as a kid, namely the Cars game, Batman, I believe it was Batman the Brave and the Bold or whatever it was, and Spongebob saves the day. My nostalgia trip. Anyway, let's check it out. Ah, another beautiful day at Bikini Bottom. Oh, look at those HD textures. But what's this? A new restaurant? I'm ruined! Okay, yeah, everything looks a little funky, and I can deal with that till... What did you animals do to Mr. Krabs? He looks like he's wearing all denim. The shirt is a lighter shade of blue, and his pants are meant to be purple. Also, why is everything also painted blue? I don't understand. All my customers are eating it. Bistro below zero. What are we gonna do, SpongeBob? But hey, at least it has the proper voice for Mr. Krabs. <coughs> Battle for the bottom. Why? Why is their default color choice just blue? <laughs> also, what type of chair is this? This isn't the right chair. If anything, this looks like he's sitting at Squidward's house. My brain can't handle these inconsistencies. Impress your friends. Singe your eyebrows. Create horrible smells in your kitchen. It's the super celerific kitchen chemistry set. Buy yours now. That's it! I'll make an even better secret sauce and save the Krusty Krab. I'd like to order one kitchen chemistry set, please. Oh, it's here! Now, yeah, the, the cutscenes aren't that great, but hey, they do their job. The main thing is the audio. The Leapster cartridges clearly couldn't handle anywhere near the amount of data a DS or even a GBA could. The audio is bit crushed into oblivion, making anything higher than a whisper crack like it's peaking the microphone. It is also possible that this game audio wasn't recorded on the same microphones they used for the show, like a lot of the video games seem to be, but instead used a different, most likely cheaper bunch of equipment for the few cast members in this game that appear. It gets the point across, and when you're five, that's all that really matters, I suppose. Okay, so basic story. A fridge falls into Bikini Bottom and draws all the Krusty Krabs customers away. SpongeBob uses a recently bought chemistry set to try and develop a new secret recipe. After trialing with Patrick, his ingredients are destroyed and we have to scale Bikini Bottom for more stuff to test with. You now have a choice from four mini games to gain more ingredients. First up, you have Counting Claw. Ahoy, SpongeBob! Look at this! Oh, wow! That's spongy! Um, what is it? It's a prize catching game! I put it in for the kitties! Mr. Krabs always has been a big fan of getting kids started on gambling at a young age. SpongeBob wants to use coins worth 10 cents each. Which hand should he pick? Use the arrow pad to choose a hand. Then press the big blue button. Ugh, it's gonna be a long day. So, it's, it's just maths. Choose the right coins to get the right amount. When you're done, you can play the claw game and snag some stuff. Oh, yeah! Each time you get to pick a different item and you see a different animation before repeating. Some are actually pretty fun. Gary will really like this. Eventually you'll get some orange squid soda. Okay, after all that work, all that maths, how much did we get? Your grand total is one drop of orange squid soda. Hold on, let me just get out my... Uh... Oh, measuring stick? God damn two pixels! How many hours did you expect me to do this? A very long time, clearly. You literally get a drop per time you play it. A drop. The voice says it itself. A mermaid man cereal bowl! Let's do that again! Okay, moving on. Conveyor chaos. What you doing, SpongeBob? Ah, uh, oh, come on, uh, new system. Mr. Krabs idea. Can't see, Bob. Need more buns. 
Man, don't put too many frames in there, buddy. Don't want it to look you know, too smooth or anything like that. Okay, so basically in this one, you move across the conveyors to collect the right stuff. I remember having a lot of fun with this one, but uh, now that I see it a few years later, this one's really pretty choppy. Okay, then after a bonus round, you eat a bunch of curry patties and collect some grill grease. Here's your griddle grease. Yes, I, I needed that close up. Ooh, I wonder how much we'll get this time. <sighs> because you can get two in this level, uh, this game mode always felt more rewarding, which is probably why I remember it being more fun. Anyway, moving on to Musical Garden. Maybe <laughs> <sighs> if I make enough music, the oyster will be so happy she'll sing along. Then I can scoop up some of that blue oyster juice. Okay, that's that's just weird, man. So you have these little bubbles which take you to different areas to perform on different instruments. You basically just need to fill the meter at the top by trying out different stuff. You don't actually play anything, you just click on stuff one by one, hear different songs. It's uh now I don't want to say boring, but yeah. It is. Moving on, bubble scrubber. So uh, the jellyfish eat paper and start displaying letters. So now SpongeBob is going to use bubbles to remove the letters. Yep. Now I was terrible at this because I literally couldn't spell to save my life. I'm still really bad. You do not want to see the script for this video. It's it's just a spelling game. That's all it is. This is where the whole educational part really starts to get shown off. Uh, also, why is there a Photoshop textualess layer floating around? I don't understand. To be fair, this game mode probably has the best animation. It's still r really choppy, but it looks better. Anyway, yada yada, two drops of jellyfish jelly later, and we're done. Now, back to the house. I can remember spending so long trying different combinations just to see what Patrick would do. He has some pretty great reactions. That's literally what sold me on this game when I was younger. That's spongy. But anyway, that's not what's important. I never worked out how to actually make the recipe when I was a kid. I never saw the ending. So now I've got some paper, a pen, I've got Reddit. I'll die before I leave this without finally finishing. I bet that's the recipe for the best secret sauce ever. He tells you. He literally tells you what you need if you just click on him. Mm -hmm. Eureka! Delicious! Stab me in the eye. Someone just stabbed me in the eye. We ah, did it, Mr. Krabs! We made an even tastier secret sauce for your Krabby Patties! Well, lad, you've saved the Krusty Krab! And me wallet! Do you mind if I take a peek at that recipe? Sure! Uh, 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 can you keep a secret, SpongeBob? This is the same as my original recipe! What? What the fuck? <laughs>